Mangroves are a very special group of plants. They provide a lot of beneficial ecosystem services to humankind. The loss of mangroves, the loss of coastal habitats is really a catastrophe. It's actually a food security issue. It's a regional security issue. Professor Catherine Lovelock is based in Brisbane at the University of Queensland. Professor Joe Lee works at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Both are renowned marine ecologists, and although separated by thousands of kilometres, they share a mission to protect and restore coastal wetlands. We actually have rather different systems, but we actually are asking more or less the same questions. Mangroves have a unique ability to tolerate wind and waves, meaning they help protect our coastlines from erosion. They also improve water quality by removing pollutants from stormwater runoff that would otherwise reach habitats such as seagrass and coral reefs. And they serve as a vital nursery for fish, while their associated tidal flats provide food and roosting areas for birds. Plenty of reasons then to value them. Professors Lovelock and Lee are both members of an international working group tasked with identifying and conserving ecosystems under pressure. Professor Lee spent more than 20 years studying Australian mangroves at Queensland's Griffith University before moving back to Hong Kong. Australia is a very lucky country because if you talk about mangroves, then you have almost the best mangrove ecosystems in the world. But that doesn't make them immune from the impacts of climate change. There's going to be great variability in what will happen to these ecosystems with climate change. As sea levels rise, scientists are already seeing signs of mangroves both retreating inland and expanding in some regions. Which is why coastal planning is so important as a strategy for climate change adaptation. But mangroves are also shaping up as a key weapon in the fight against climate change, and not just because of their value in supporting biodiversity while buffering the land from storm surges. It turns out they're very effective at removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The wetland environment, it is very lacking in oxygen, and therefore the extent that this carbon would actually be recycled would be very slow, and therefore allowing them to be very effective long-term carbon storages. But both scientists say so-called blue carbon isn't a silver bullet. By no means is it a silver bullet. The only way to fight climate change really is to reduce emissions. But why it really matters is for all those other ecosystem services that the mangroves provide on the coast. The case for protecting mangroves is clear and one that cross-border scientific collaboration continues to strengthen. By extending the range of characteristics that we examine, we can understand our ecosystem better. To collaborate with Australian scientists is actually going to enrich my perspective as a mangrove scientist.